This is a game that I haven't played in a very, very long time. Last I played Dead Cells extensively was, I think, late 2019, and this game ruined my life for about a month. I was staying up to like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning uh, every every single night because I this I just like, one more run, one more run, uh, which is kind of the case with these uh, these roguelite permadeath type of games. Uh, they have a new DLC. They're not new. It's, it's uh, I think, a couple months old now at this point uh, called The Queen in the Sea, and I was like, oh, this is a pretty good time to just install a bunch of DLCs and check out what they have to offer. I think last time I played it was right probably when Bad Seed came out, which I think it's it's been a while. Um, but I, I remember Rise of the Giant. I remember getting getting to the giant boss and and uh, getting five boss cells and all that stuff. But I figured this one looks pretty cool. We got a bunch of new biomes since the last time. Got a bunch of new enemies. So I had to look up how to access the levels here. It's kind of complicated. You have to like talk to some NPCs and and uh, and go through a bunch of levels and do this very specific series of steps. But I have made it all the way there, so this is going to be the first look at the uh, the new levels in the Queen of the Sea. So right now we are just fresh off of beating the um, the boss in the clock room, the timekeeper. So we're at that the the bridge point. So we have the derelict distillery right here. Um, we have the uh, I think it's High Peak Castle over here. And then what they added as part of the DLC. If you go down here, we have a door, and we had the crown key. Like I said, there's a whole kind of complicated series of things we have to do to to, um, to get to that point where we had the crown key. Uh, we are playing on two boss cells, by the way. Uh-oh. Are we automatically in the level, or is there going to be like a proper door? Who knows? Okay. Um, as far as the build I'm using, I got a meat skewer, an ice bow, got a leg hugger, and I brought the hunter's grenade all the way here. Just in case, I figured there'd be blueprints that we don't have in these new levels. So I'm like, all right, let's 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 uh let's make sure we bring this along so we guarantee ourselves a blueprint. Um, as far as the mutations, uh, we got the 85% healing. We can auto kill mobs under 15%. And then because we have the ice bow, we have the mutation where melee attacks will drop the projectiles out of people. So I don't really know what's uh what's uh, going on here, to be honest with you. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, there was an elevator. <laughs> I didn't even see the elevator. Okay. Uh, interesting that they didn't bother to uh, to just put us right in the level. They gave us this little intermediate. Oh, maybe this is the first time because I'm accessing this for the first time that I have to go through this little intermediate thing. All right, this is the NPC I was talking about. Um, he's a fisherman, I think. So you came. We'll set sail as soon as you're ready. Be advised, what's lurking in the shipwreck is really unsavory, even by my standards. But I'm sure you didn't come that far to get cold feet, did ya? Let's go. Let's be off. How do I go? Oh, we go. Right. Let us be off. All right, cool. So, infested shipwreck is the first uh, first stage here of the DLC. Like I said, we're playing on two boss cells. Cracking heap of driftwood. Surely nothing bad can come out of it. And there's our achievement. Cool. Exciting. Alright. So, like I said, two boss cells. We are... I just wanted to play on something where we have a few... A few heal points. Or we, we get, I think, one health flask recharge after every level. I think at three boss cells, you only get one flask recharge after, um, oh god, after uh, each boss. So I was like, oh, we're just trying to get to the DLC, so let's kind of play on a medium difficulty. Alright, so we obviously had the Hunter's Grenade, we saw the little icon over their heads. So we can get a blueprint out of them, but we'll see if they just happen to drop one naturally, that would be nice. Just because it is kind of a long run to get all the way to this point. So, let's see if they drop it naturally. We'll keep a couple alive that we can um, that we can attack if if need be and use the hunter's grenade on. All right, what's the treasure gonna be? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, probably don't probably don't want this one. I'm gonna leave it here just in case we do use the hunter's grenade and we just need another um, another little. Uh, item to stock us stock up on in the meantime until we can find a better one. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the shit? Okay, 
Let's get the F out of there. Let's summon our little pet here. Okay. Oh, what is that? A map part. Interesting. What I really like about the meat skewer, okay, let's leave that guy there in case we need somebody for the hunter's grenade a little bit later. What I really like about the meat skewer is it just, it kind of, you dash through the enemies as you attack them, which is, oh, what the fuck? Oh, so they're hiding in the ceiling, I see. All right, get the leg hugger. That's an achievement, such a specific achievement. That's an armored shrimp, is that what, that's what it's called. Okay, um, yeah, the, the, Oh, what the f stuff is just flying out of nowhere. Yeah, that meat skewer just, just dashes right through. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. All right. So it makes it, it, it you would think it makes it really easy to, to uh, dodge attacks since you're just kind of dashing through people all the time. It makes it kind of like brain dead play, to be honest with you. Oh, there's an enemy right there. We can only see him because the hunter's grenade. And I can't even attack him. That's interesting, yeah, so if, if we didn't have the hunter's grenade on, we wouldn't be able to see him. I can't even access him with that, all right. I guess we'll just go past that guy. Uh, big, big uh, horror movie climax energy with the with the music here. Uh, I don't really care. Yeah, we got uh, two colorless items plus the hunter's grenade, so our stats aren't super important at the moment. So I don't know if this, this level will have a puzzle, um, but if it does, the only thing we found is we, we found that little map, that map fragment, and I think that was obtained by defeating an enemy. Oh, what the? Oh, those dudes can just sneak under these uh, things. All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got a hand hook. Beautiful. All right. Whoa, that is so cool. I like the little swan dive that they do with, with the item on. So I'm guessing we just gotta defeat the uh, enemies until we find all the map parts, is what I'm guessing. Uh, might as well just jack up our power even more. I haven't played with the, um, with the uh, leg hugger too much. So it's kind of cool. Obviously, he's not the first kind of pet type of creature that we've had. We've had the uh, the mushroom boy. We've had the great owl. The great owl is, is really nice because it flies. Um, however, oh lord, he's following me around. Oh god. Yeah, but but the great owl disappears when you take any kind of damage, which is a huge negative. Mushroom Boy, is, Mushroom Boy is really nice because he kind of rams enemies and kind of makes them get away from you. Uh, let's see. I got a bunch of spiky area here. We got quite a winding map so far. Unclear as to which, uh, which is the best route to take yet. Now I'm just looking at every corner to see one of those fucking guys is just hanging out there. There's got to be something up here, no? I love how the leg hugger moves. It's all like creepy. Alrighty. All right, so we so I'll probably take this instead of the tornado once we use up the uh, the hunter's grenade. All right, so we gotta go back here. So yeah, we won't need the tornado really. Um, let's see. Where else? I guess we can go down here. I guess is the. Right, there was a shop up there, but it doesn't look like there's a passageway through. Okay, so from here we can go down or up. So let's try going. Yeah, let's try going up. That's another branch. Oh, so many freaking spikes, man. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the? What the heck? Oh my god, okay. Alright. So yeah, I guess if, if one of those cats attacks us, we can't be 
like near the spikes. So we just gotta get out of there right away because we just need we need some uh, freedom of movement to to uh, get past those. I see you, motherfucker. I see you. I see you right there. Get out of here. All right. So yeah. See, we're getting the f out of there. You follow me? There you are. There we go. Okay. All right, yeah, so we could have gone up and to the right. We'll get that a little bit later. All right, just got a shopkeeper here. Okay, so we can we can go up. Yeah, we got a few, we still got a few pathways to explore here. It's like a box in the background. All right. All right, so this is the way out, presumably. We need the forked key. All right. Uh, what the fuck? I, there we go. Uh, I feel like I'm being aimless. Like, I don't really know where I'm supposed to get this key, to be honest with you. Come here, fool. Yeah, it still shows that that, that enemy has a, the armored shrimp has a, has a blueprint to give, but it could just be an outfit blueprint, which we're obviously not tremendously interested in. Uh, okay, yeah, this, this is a pretty huge level. I don't know if it feels huge because I'm like, I'm not zipping through, I'm not playing super defensively. I'm just kind of burning through it. Right, I'm not burning through it either. Okay. The color scheme is changing up here. We're getting out of the shipwreck up into the upper kind of uh, area here. Oh lord. Alright, there's another... Oh, what the fuck. Fuck you. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck. Get out of here, fool. All right. Uh, probably a good time to, <laughs> to, to heal up right here. Okay, there's a treasure somewhere down here. Okay. Uh, let's see, that will, this will probably take priority over, over any of the other ones, to be honest. It's kind of annoying that we have got to go all the way around here for the warp point. All right. So we got that. Oh, man. Where do we even think about going? I guess we could have gone to the right, further right from here. Yeah, it looks like there's a little entrance that way. Boom. There we go. We are running through these motherfuckers. Uh, okay. See, so yeah, it looks like there's something that way, so we'll have to go around. And we have two map fragments. I'm assuming that it'll probably be Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so they chuck they chuck their anchors, and then they kind of follow them. Oh, god damn it. Sloppy play. I like how they, they let out a, a blood-curdling cry to announce that they're about to attack. That's nice of them. All right. I'm surprised these, these aren't, like, falling platforms or something. Given that they have all the spikes, like, why do we even... 
care about the spikes, right? Okay. Yeah, so we're still missing, we think, two, uh, two map fragments. I gotta get out of these freaking the range of these bats here. What the fuck? Let's get the hell out of dodge. All right. Oh, ah, fuck. Can't be getting hit by that, dude. That's just free health. And we had a streak. I think the streaks at this point are are like 60 to get the uh, the bonuses at the end of the levels, but we are at like 27. We could have made it happen. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got one of these cats is going to be... Those, uh... Oh, fuck. Get out of here. All right. Let's go to an area we like a little bit better. Come through, come through. Yeah, the little, the, um, what is it called? I, I forgot the name of that, that enemy. There we go, that's one, number three. Um, yeah, the name of the enemy which carries a little, I think it's a, it's a grenadier or something. Yeah, those also have uh, one blueprint that I haven't managed to uh, secure quite yet. So let's see if we can... Get a little bit lucky here. Oh god. How do we... Oh, up here. And there's number four. Okay, so we got the mysterious map. Uh, what the fuck? Alright. How do I how do I use the oh it shows me okay all right so I gotta like dig for something I guess there when I get there all right let's just finish clearing out the level see if we can get any luck with the with the blueprints here and that is that is the entire level oh it looks like we have a we have an exit up here too. Oh, it's the lighthouse. Is that a boss? I guess it's got to be the boss, right? Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. So this is to access this. Where's the freaking? Oh, we didn't even explore the rest of the level. Okay. So let's let's get the whatever the X marks the spot thing is. Uh. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing if we just saw that, if we happen to see that, we obviously wouldn't need the mysterious map. I'm guessing that's the case. I feel like Dead Cells is that kind of game, right? If you know where the thing is, you don't have to put together all the map pieces to find it. Alright. So, I guess it's just a shop here. Again, now, now we're just going to go blueprint hunting. And let's hope we get a little lucky here. We got a, I got excited there. I'm like, oh, something dropped. But it's just a, just a scroll. Oh, what the fuck? Is there an elite? Oh, lord. Okay, let me get rid of this the shrimp first, once he feels like catching up. There we go, okay. Now we can deal with you. Oh, what the... Ah. Man, that freaking... That thing is so annoying! Alright, there we go. Uh, Alright, we already got this, and we prefer purple since that's our tactics, is our highest uh, stat right now. Those guys, the, the, the dudes with the anchor attack, they do have a, a, a long startup time because they got to get that little battle, their battle cry all the way out, so. Not surprised. Okay. Alright, so we have 
burn through pretty much the entire level. Um, I think we'll just have the. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Let, let's go. Let's go uh, see what's behind that. Behind this door. I'm hoping it's a blueprint. That kind of makes sense, right? Because the exit is clearly just in, in plain daylight here. All right. Oh shit. What's over here? What a beautiful pedestal. That trident must have belonged to someone important. Well, anyway. Oh, cool. All right. Let's let's uh. I kind of want to see how it works. Let's. There's like a kind of there's like a running. Okay. The animation isn't super like cool or anything. Let's see what all the stats are. The second attack is a char. Oh, it is a charge. Interrupt it with the last attack. What? The second attack is a charge that inflicts critical damage after a few moments. Interrupt it with the last attack. Okay, so. Okay, so see. Yeah, it's unclear what the timing is supposed to be. Let's let's uh, backpack this for now. Um, okay, that's cool. Should we just inspect this one more time, just to be sure? No, we can't. Okay. All right, cool. So there's our uh, our uh, blueprint here. I'm guessing. Let's go get our. Let's go get our blueprint, man. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, fucking... Yeah, let's see if we can get one of these gats to chase us all the way up here. That'd be nice. We have a nice flat surface there. Come on, you can chase me up here, can't you? No? Alright, cool. Oh, oh! Alright, there we go, okay. There's our flat surface. Alright, there you are. Uh, can I make you... Go away? What the fuck, alright. Come through, come through! Let's go, fool! What are you doing? Oh, what? Okay. Good thing I saved a couple of these cats, though. And there's one right there, it looks like. Yep, okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, my, my, uh, my guy keeps murdering them. That's why I don't know. Okay, you know what? You know what I could do? That's really frustrating. Okay, see when you <laughs> when your dude is too powerful that he just keeps freaking murdering people? All right. What I can do is I can, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to use this one. I need, I need the uh, ice, the uh, ice armor is what I need. Uh, where was that one at? That was, or I guess I can use that, right? Now let's grab this cat right here. Yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deactivate him, because I press the button again, and he doesn't really do anything. This is like the rare case where you don't want, um, you don't want him active. All right. Okay, now let's go, let's go get our guys here. Alright. Well, he got like pretty, whoa! 
He got hella far up. Come through, come through. Alright, come here. Oh, come on. Come on. No, oh, fuck you. Alright, I'm kind of annoyed that I had to use... Can you come up here? There we go. Got him. Okay. That was... <laughs> I was really scared. I'm like, I'm gonna lose this freaking blueprint over nothing. Okay. All right, we don't need this ice armor because we still have our uh, our boy. I do like the ice, ice armor a lot, but unfortunately it's um, survival, which we don't super care about. Okay, so my fuck up on that first one caused me to lose an, almost an entire bar of health, which is dumb by me, but that's okay. Okay, so this should be... Um, what was the... Oh, it showed me the lighthouse, right? That was the... That was the exit to the level. Uh, okay, so where was it again? It was somewhere. What the heck? Okay. Um, oh, is it there? Yeah. All right, so we should be good. I think we can head out. There weren't any food vendors, I don't think. Right, we only had two vendors, and then they were both uh, like gear. So we don't have a use for that. All right, yeah, only two only two vendors. Only two shops, rather. All right, let's get out of there. Okay, so yeah, so otherwise it's just kind of a normal level. We don't need the, um, you don't need that map. That was just to get the trident for the first time. And it looks like, all right, it looks like the trident is going to be auto unlocked, which is definitely nice. Um, hand hook. All right, I don't want these popping up just because we have a nice build. And I did restrict the items we're playing in custom mode right now, so I'll just leave them almost unlocked here. These look like pretty cool weapons, though. Actually, I kind of wish I unlocked them just so we could see what they did. That's all right. Um, so this, I guess this is another alternate alt boss to the uh, to the hand of the king here. So we have the Hand of the King, the Giant act as the, acted as the final boss. The Collector is more of a secret boss, because you have to go through the Hand of the King to get to the Collector. So this will be probably another entirely different boss. Let's find out. Rumor has it that before the outbreak, certain spots of the shoreline were highly sought after by the island's aristocracy. <sighs> what do they have in store for us here? Okay. Got the achievement, summon our boy. I like when they have these like lead ups to the bosses. Ow. <laughs> just, just for some stage setting. All right, here we go. We got like a platformy area. Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? Oh, I got a, oh, it's one of the fucking chase type missions. Okay. You know what's kind of, Cheap about this is that I have the, I have my my boy right here, my pet. So, I'll just keep getting passive damage on him. Oh god. Okay. Oh, okay. Calliope. All right, he's got some, some big, fucking nuts here. He seems pretty. As far as his health is going down. He seems pretty easy. Okay, interesting. <laughs> sure. Oh, but he healed up. Okay, interesting. All right, we'll mull on that. I'm guessing he'll show up again down the road. Okay, there he is. Yep, he's still fucking harassing me. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got an ally now. Okay, you terpy. 
All right, so now we gotta, okay, so it's probably the same thing, right? We just gotta fight two of them. So we have to, we just have to keep doing this until we get to our designated fight spot and then we can attack two of them. Oh, what the, oh, there we go, okay. Jeez. Oh, there's a carrot. Alright, this looks like our spot. Yep. Alright, here we go. No! Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Ow, as in I didn't actually get hit. I'm trying to target the wrecking ball, the first dude. Not, uh, what was his name? Uh, Calliope? Not Euterpe. Oh! <sighs> yes. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, once we get one, we can just skewer them to... Skewer them to shit. Yeah, so he only has two, or he has three moves. He has this kind of, like, one where he, like, scopes onto you. Like that move, and then he has his raining arrows, and then he has a slam attack. So there's the raining arrows, and then he'll slam. Yeah, there we go. Oh, raining arrows, slam. Okay. Yeah, without his partner, he's kind of, he's kind of a mess here. The slam is the one we got to be careful of because it looks like that one is has a pretty big like AOE range. Got him. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Both of them are are dipping out. Do they have a third companion? It would make sense, right? Usually bosses like these come in threes, or like enemies like these come in threes. Whoa, that's, that's, a, that's a, lot, a lot of area we uh, we hike through. Okay, and we're at 100% health, which is fucking awesome. Let's get the ow. What the fuck, Cleo? Okay. Climbing up these ladders is so, like, slow. We can, like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, who said this wasn't a, a platforming game? I wonder if we can get another uh, carrot. It was nice of them to give us a carrot a little bit earlier. Yeah, I wonder if I should just try attacking them, like, as we kind of progress here. Oh. Okay. Alright. We're at 100% health. <laughs> There's no reason we should lose, right? All three of them? We took two of them pretty easily. Alright. This this new motherfucker looks intense, though. Ow. Oh, God. Bad. Ah! I should be really playing more defensively, to be honest. What the fuck? Ow! There's that slam fucking bullshit attack! I'm um, for some reason doing like way worse on this one than I was on the the two boss fight. Oh. Okay. I don't have like a lane. There we go. I was like, there's no like way I can possibly attack them. Oh God, that that's, that's so much damage. Man, I'm taking bullshit damage. This is what I'm taking. Fuck you. Oh my goodness.
die, fool. One of these cats got it. Fucking die. There we go. Okay, okay. Ooh, all right. Okay, okay. We in this, we in this, we in this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Out here taking some BS damage here. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And we got a blueprint, that's nice. Man, that was, it was actually not too bad of a level until we, until we got to the end there. Um, okay, uh, is this of any use to us? Probably not, right? Uh, okay, the wolf trap. I'm guessing the leg hugger is gonna be a lot more useful, right? I also like how the crossbow gives us a little shield when we use it. Alright, and they didn't heal that time, so... I'm guessing they're gone for good, right? No fourth one? Next level! It doesn't even tell us what the next level is. Interesting. So there is a next level, because ordinarily, if the shipwreck took the place of High Peak Castle, then this would this would take the place of the, you know, the Hand of the King level. But it seems like, so this is Path House, Path to the Lighthouse's top. All right, so we got another, I'm guessing it's gotta be another boss level, right? Uh, okay, let's just take a look at what this one looks like. Um, so the Maw of the Deep, this is the one we got in the last level. The third attack throws the shark. So it's pretty much, yeah, what, what that enemy was doing. Rooting the enemy and causing it to bleed. That looks super, like, a cool attack. And the Gilded Yumi fires large arrows that push enemies. Stuns and inflicts critical damage if it bumps in its target into a wall or another enemy. Okay. I don't know that that's super special. I guess it's a large arrow, which is kind of different. Let's see what this uh, hand hook looks like. So, it's kind of a short-range melee attack. The last attack throws a target behind you, bumping other enemies it hits. Enemies thrown on walls. Okay, so you can kind of just hook them and just slam, against, slam them against the wall, which is kind of cool. Um, 8,684 damage on the, on the crit. Um, you know what? I kind of want to keep this one just in case. I know it's a legendary. Oh, but this is extra damage on a frozen target, which I think is, if we decide to use it, I, I'm probably gonna roll with the skewer, but that's probably gonna be a little more valuable. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, what the fuck? Can I, what? All right, <laughs> once the rope is used, it's used. I appreciate the commitment to the bit, okay. So let us check um, health flask. We basically get 7% back. This one is, is pretty is pretty good, but we do have the one where it's like lose gold instead of health when hit. That seems pretty interesting. I feel like that could that could be a, a game changer there. So we'll do that one. We'll do this one, then we'll do the 85% one. Okay. I think I feel better about that. So we got two heals. Um, it heals 85%. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, the crown. As life on the island went extinct, so too did the beacon of the lighthouse. How tragic. Okay. Whew, right, right, right about an hour, and this should be our final alternative boss here. 
A sparkle in the night. Oh wow, I get <laughs> I just get launched up here. So this is the top of the lighthouse. The rest of the lighthouse is ablaze. Uh, I don't know if I should heal right now. Let's just see how this goes. This will probably go very badly. I probably shouldn't have spawned that freaking thing so far to the left. Okay, here comes the interloper. After all the malaise is done to the kingdom, you should realize that we cannot allow anything to leave the island. But I guess you're beyond reasoning now. Okay. I like that. It's like a fencing outfit. I'm sorry, but I have to stop this folly right here, right now. Know that I won't take any pleasure in killing you. Right, whatever you say, chief. Oh, she's the queen. Okay. Presumably related to the king. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Ow. Okay. Ow, jeez, all right. Fight for real now. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge some of these strikes. Try parrying this. I don't have a shield, fool. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. If I'm able to like find like a spot like in the in that middle area while she does that attack, I feel like that would be a pretty good time to like land up. Oh, Jesus Christ. A bunch of hits on her. Oh, God. She moves around so quick. Man. So she parries too, looks like. Oh god. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna freaking jinx it right here. Ah! Ow! Where even are you? Oh, Jesus! Oh! Ooh! Okay, we found the spot. That's probably the most, like, damaging attack out of all of them, you would think. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I guess the die is cast then. <laughs> That's so funny. I just fall off at the end. Okay. Alright. That wasn't too bad, honestly. End her. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, we get we get a cool animation here too. We just kick her off the lighthouse. Now we get to see a new day. And you're like, bye bye. So, what is that? That's the other prisoners on the island can finally be free, I guess? Or are there others like me? Like other beheadeds? Interesting. Oh, we got another blueprint too. Okay, and that's the end credits. All right. So presumably a little bit more to explore in terms of the blueprints and things like that when uh, when it comes to some of those levels. But that is the Queen and the Sea DLC for Dead Cells. On the whole, I would say it was pretty enjoyable. I think the DLC is like six bucks, five bucks, something like that. Uh, I think they have packs of DLCs if you haven't gotten the 
other DLCs yet, you can get them as a group and get like a, a couple bucks discount there as well. Um, I'd say pretty cool overall. Definitely, uh, I, I always appreciate when they have new bosses. I think this one, having the queen and also having the stage before, that was probably my favorite stage out of all of them because it was, you know, it was, it was definitely a little bit different than than uh, all the rest of them just because we had the three bosses and it was partially a, a chase scene. I don't think we, we have anything like that in the rest of the game where it's like you're constantly running for your life uh, and also fighting people uh, at the same time. So that was definitely really cool. Uh, I, I would say that this is my probably my favorite DLC so far. I think just because of that, because we got a brand new end boss and we got another kind of alternative boss stage, plus a regular stage. And I thought the enemies, the, the new enemies were, were definitely really, really cool and really interesting. Um, so yeah, I would, I, would, I would recommend getting this one. I'd recommend getting, getting all of them, honestly, and just, just support the devs because this is a fantastic game. So that's a, it's a plus one for Dead Cells and a plus one for Queen of the Sea. And we'll pick it up next time with more Dead Cells whenever they drop some new content.